Hi. Uh, today we are going to uh, create a network diagram for this question. So the first item we are going to do is uh, to calculate uh, expected time. So the formula for calculating expected time uh, in this case uh, is taking the uh, pessimistic time which is 8 and then you add uh, four times that of uh, most likely and you add uh, that, that of optimistic time and then you find the sum of that and you divide by six to find uh, the expected time for the variance uh, you take the optimist optimistic time and then subtract the pessimistic time and then uh, divide by six and square it so since we have already calculated the expected time, we can go ahead to create the network diagram. So uh, uh, let's start by putting the duration for each for each task. For A, uh, the duration is ten. For B, seven. For C it is 4, for D it's 20, for E and so on until we reach to the task L. So let us input the duration for each task. So we have 10 for task L. And 7 for task B. Twenty-four task B, seven for task E, <coughs> ten for task F, eight for task B, sorry for task G, fifteen. So for task A, B, and C, we start at time zero. So this will start at time zero. We we'll start and so we we'll start with time zero. So let's find the earliest finish for task B at seven. For task A, it is ten. For task C, it is four. Okay, so the earliest finish you take the uh, earliest start which is zero and then you add the task duration to get the earliest finish. So let's go to task E. For task E it depends only on task C. So the earliest start for it will be four. So the earliest finish will be eleven. For task B, it depends on task A. So, the early start for task D, it is 10, it is equals to early, early finish of task A. So, let's calculate the early finish of task D, D which is 30. You take 10 plus 20 to get 30. So, for task F, uh, it depends on 3. It depends on three tasks that is the task E, task B, and task B. So we find the maximum of these three because task F can only start when all the three tasks are already completed. So here it will be the early start will be 30, and then early finish will be 40. For task G, it also depends on task B, task D, and task E. So we find the maximum of these three because task B can only start when the three tasks 
tasks are completed. So it is also that. Okay, the early finish is 38. So for task early, it only depends on task F. So the early start because to let start to early finish of task F, which is 40. So the early finish for task I is 51. We take 40 plus 11. For task H, it only depends on task F. So early start for task H is and the finish is 55 uh, for task L it depends on task H and task G so the maximum of 2 the maximum of 2 early finishes uh, is uh, 55 so the early start is 55 the early finish is 58 to task G. Task G depends on task G and task H. So the maximum of two early finishes uh, is 55. 55. So early finish for task G is 62. And task A depends on task I and task G. So the maximum of two 62 62 and then the early finish of task K is 69 since this is the last task uh, for this project uh, we find that its early finish must be equal to its late finish so here yeah, we have 69 so to find the Let's right start. We take a uh, let finish minus duration. We get the let right start, which is 62. So task J, task K depends on task J and task I. So uh, using that dependence line, I will move to task J. So the let right finish for task J is equal to the let right start of task K. So here we have 62 and here we have 55. The late finish of task I is equal to the late start of task K. So we have here 62, 62 minus 11. So for task L we find it's also another last task in that category. So uh, it should be finished uh, nearly the same way. With that of the K, the task K. So we can put here 62, 62, and then 62, and then 59. Next, task H feeds uh, task A and task J. So we find the minimum of the, uh, of the two. So here we have 55, 55 is the minimum. 55 minus 15. That's 40. Uh, for task G, uh, task G feeds task L and task G. So the minimum, let's start with the two tasks that is task G and task L, it is 55. So we put here 55. 55 minus 47. So here task F feeds task H and task I. So we find the minimum. Let's start for the two, uh, which is 40. 40 minus 30, we have. So the 40 minus 10, we have 30. Okay, so let's go to task E. Task E feeds task G and task F. So the minimum of the two, we have 30. 
30 minus 7 that is 23 okay so for task b uh, task b feeds feeds task g and task f so we find the minimum of the two here we have 30 30 minus 20 that is 10 uh, for task c so task c feeds task e so we find now we take the uh, let let's start for task e as uh, let finish for task c c then 23 minus 4 which is 19 here we have 10 0. so task b feeds task g and task f the name of the two we have 30 At 30 minus 7 we have uh, 23 Okay, so uh, we have completed the uh, network diagram, finding uh, early start, early finish, late start, and late finish. So if you check the diagram and the value that you have inputted and calculated, you can find that task A, D, F, H, J, and K are not a slack, but all other tasks have slack. This means that uh, task A, D, F, H, J, and K are the critical part. If it's slack, you take the late finish, to subtract and finish so i hope uh, this video has been helpful to you in case you have any question kindly comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you have any detailed question and you need specialized assistance you can email me at the email provided in the description below also do not forget to subscribe and like so that you continue to provide and someone in need of help again thank you and have a nice day